All right, so everybody, I'm Scotty J. You are watching Rock Titan Live, and I've got an amazing guest with us right now. You know this dude from, uh, oh, I don't know, his time in a little band called Sabotage and Circle to Circle, and uh, oh, God, another little band maybe that you've heard of, especially during the holiday season called Trans Siberian Orchestra. I am here with Zach <laughs> Stevens. How you doing, sir? Hey, Scotty. How you doing? Good, good. So I guess, uh, you know, I guess all your other bands, you know, they just don't keep you busy enough. So now you got to, uh, you know, have this new band called Archon Angel, huh? Yes. Um, you know, I don't know how that really, I mean, it came about kind of as a surprise. I mean, last year I was working with Aldo uh, Lono Bile. He's a producer, Italian guy, um, you know, doing, uh, he was doing Timo Toki's album. Um, Return to Eden. I've sang a couple of songs on his album. Timo's great. He's invited me to, you know, take part right a couple of times. And, you know, this time Aldo's producing it. And, you know, we work pretty well together. Um, so he said, hey, you know, uh, Frontiers is approaching me about, you know, putting us together to do this, to do a new band. We need a name. We need everything. We're going to start from scratch. They want it to be a band thing um, rather than a project. Because, you know, they have a lot of projects going on and it might be two artists together or whatever and they don't really tour and stuff. Right. So we want to do something that we would actually take the show out. So um, so basically, we did. We just put it, we did it and he started sending me songs and, you know, they sounded like a lot of different influences from the years. I mean, we hear, you know, you're going to hear Sabotage, of course, because because I'm singing on it, but we know that. But <laughs> right. Right. the thing is, I, I told him to get some influences from different you know, just bring whatever influenced him growing up. He's probably about my age anyway, so maybe a little bit younger. But, yeah, so it worked out. You know, somehow we we have another band, and this is kind of fun because we get to go out touring with it um, and do some shows and stuff like that. Very cool, very cool. Well, I know all of your fans, you know, that you've had, you know, from all of the bands that you've worked with over the years, you know, they're going to want to be a big part of this. And again, everybody, uh, this is Archon Angel. They got their brand new album, Fallen, that is coming out February 14th via Frontiers Music. And uh, I've had a chance, of course, you know, as someone in the media to already listen to the entire album. You sound awesome. All those ridiculous, man. I can't honestly say that I've ever been familiar with any of his guitar playing, you know, uh, previously. But wow, you know, the guy's got chops. He can really play. Yeah, pretty impressive. Um, he had a band, a Secret Sphere. Yeah. It's a progressive metal band. Um, you know, I don't know. If he's continuing it, I think they still have things they do from time to time. The thing is, I heard about him when um, down there in Atlanta at Prague Power, USA. Okay. Uh, they have that little festival down there on Peachtree Ave, um, and it, he does it in the theater down in the downtown district there uh, for many years running. Um, and uh, you know, we played there a couple times of Circle to Circle and. John Oliva's Pain played there, and, you know, just, you know, there's a lot of people that we know that have played Prog Power. It's been a good thing for, to introduce progressive metal all over the world. He brings in a lot of foreign acts. Um, so that's how I heard about Aldo and his band, okay. you know, and I started following that. I actually caught a little piece of a show or mo when I was there one year anyway. So oh, right on. You know that, and I didn't really know too much else uh, aside from that. But definitely got chops. Definitely has the ability to write some cool stuff. Um, and you know, it's been working out. I was very impressed too. You know, I said, well, you know, we, you know, it's easy to work with him. Little, he's real laid back. You know, we work in different countries. Right. right. You know, you don't have to be in the same country anymore. So, you know, we're just basically just doing stuff by, you know, you know, internet. Uh, everything, um, sending tracks like that, you know, send, uh, be recording my tracks mostly in Michigan for this one and for, um, for, uh, Timo, um, for Av Avalon. So it was the same setup. So it's very consistent. So he likes the sound coming from that. And I like the sounds coming from his end. So you know, it worked out all right. Well, technology is a beautiful thing, you know? It makes such collaborations possible. Like you and I right now. You don't have to even be in my studio. I don't have to be in yours. Although it would be a lot more fun. 
You know? Yeah, it would. <laughs> oh man, That'd be good. Oh God. So uh, so Aldo, he plays almost as good as Oliva, right? Right. <laughs> I don't know about oh, we can't do that. We can't do that to the man, the myth, the legend. How are things with you and John these days? You guys stay in touch? You guys, uh, you know, go back and forth? Yeah, we stay in touch quite often. Yeah. Um, I saw him a couple of times on the TSO tour. He comes out to a couple of shows and we hung out and he's happy. You know, he was happy with everything we were doing and, you know, just looking for, you know, the feedback coming from him for the music side of TSO. He's part of the leadership team. Yeah, I guess as he has far to be now. At, yeah, yeah. yeah, music, you know, it's like 10 people now, you know, now that, you know, Paul O'Neill passed away and right. Paul had his hands on everything. He's one of those managers that basically made, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, this decision or on up the ladder, it does, everything in between, he would actually be making that final decision. So it was kind of tough for everybody after that, because he's got his hands on so much stuff, you know, now they have to, now they've, smartly delegated it to like a 10 person round table thing consisting of management john um you know the the music directors uh which includes al petrelli right, um, of Sap right. yep so he's the uh, music director of the west and it's got we got Derek whelan taking that position in the east the keyboardist so you know they've got a, a and paul o'neill's daughter ireland who has a huge role in everything and is massively um smart uh in in the business world maybe not as much of a music background but i mean you're talking about a brilliant young mind i mean shoot i think she's about three weeks older than my oldest daughter okay they were born three weeks apart that was one that? thing me and paul always had was our first kids were born like three weeks apart wow. <laughs> except i mean ireland so she comes out of high school and like a week later has her first college degree now there's more but anyway <laughs> i won't go all the way so yeah we're talking about the accelerated scholar right on um, now, it's amazing to me how huge a production tso well i mean i'm not surprised by it you know being all the moving parts and everyone who's involved and everything like that but wow i mean huge I mean, every every show it does completely sold out like you can't even get tickets like media can't even get access to it it's so huge and uh i think it's so cool that you're a part of that and i don't know what it is maybe that's yeah. what brought us together today you know maybe that's something to do with it because uh very recently uh, we got to uh, talk with Dino Jalusek, who's awesome. You know, I mean, his voice yep. is incredible. And then Chloe exactly. Lowry, we talked to not too long ago. And that girl, wow. oh my God. Great. Yeah, she's unbelievable. So you're in good company here, Zach. You're in great company. Yeah. But uh, I want I know to we're all very lucky and, you know, very thankful to be part of it. It's, it's amazing, the story. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we all just feel blessed, you know, just to really be able to be part of that thing and let that be part of our you know, resume. It's a beautiful thing. Now, speaking of stories, you know, going back to Archon Angel, I think it's very interesting, this album uh, specifically, it actually tells the story of like a Gnostic angel type figure named Archon, yes? That's the premise behind it? Yep. It really has to do with the uh, Archon being chosen, not by even his own desire to be chosen to protect the people of earth, you know, in, in Greek Gnosticism, really the archon is the, is the medium or the go between, between the people of earth and the gods. In this case, in this story, um, we have a, a regular guy, like a businessman who leads a life of excess in every form and fashion, um, including, you know, uh, substance abuse problems. And mm -hmm. he's a very kind of a rich executive that has, you know, excessive everything including maybe a couple of you know drinking and drug problem and everything like that so he's kind of just within his own bubble so the, when the gods come down and say we need your help you don't know the powers you have but you know we need there's going to be some stuff happening and we need you know you're going to have to protect the people and you're the chosen one for the job he's like no i'm not <laughs> i don't want to do that uh, i think you can obviously see that i don't have my you know shit together down <laughs> Here and uh, is this, you, you must have the wrong guy. You, you probably got the wrong guy. No, we don't have the wrong guy. We have to pick you. So get it together, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. So he's like, okay. So this album kind of explains that that journey through denial, wanting to run away, to acceptance, to hey, wow, I understand the power now, and, and gaining control, and then becoming like 
the true, you know, hero. <laughs> so, that's so, so that's kind of where the, all the content comes from. Now, is this a story that you created, you know, uh, in conjunction with Aldo? Like, who is the principal, principal writer behind this? This now you're talking about the concept and the lyrics and the yeah, the yeah, band name yes. and all of that. No, not necessarily. That was my the, wife. Okay. No, yes, Catherine wrote, uh, wrote the lyrics and came up with that entire concept and stuff and ran it by us. We were like, "Wow, I'm all about that because it gives us some inspiration. It gives us the content we need." And now we have almost this, you know, I would say, somewhat conceptual thing going on with the record where we can take the central character the archon and carry that on to subsequent albums and now we have something to kind of ride around and it will follow the story and that you know gnosticism is kind of like a it's not a very well-known thing um you know ancient greek stuff that's it's not a very well-known religion or stuff like that through the you know thousand years or whatever the time frame so it's interesting to take something that doesn't really have a lot written about it um, that that did get practiced at one time or another, and then you know try to expand on that. But but yeah, I mean we have probably a team of eight or nine people. When you talk about the guys in the band, outside music writers coming from Italy, the guys in my band that write, Catherine, um, people in the concept world, um, it's a big team. But I wanted that this time. I wanted a a, a bigger team effort. Right people on. to take pride in what they do. Um, we have, you know, writers in the band. We got outside writers in music. Uh, if you read the credits and stuff like that, we've got different roles. I'm pretty much back in the role I was in Sabotage, just vocals, vocal melodies, performance, which is what makes me the most comfortable. She's kind of like my Bernie Taupin and I'm Elton John right now. So that's kind of <laughs> the way this is working. Lyrics given to me, just like from O'Neill um, and wow. Oliva. And uh, that's kind of, you know, and, and, you know, and I don't have a problem with everybody wanting to do roles. If they want to get pride with it and get behind it and they're really excited about it and great, then boom, then go for it. You know, like Paul O'Neill used to say, it's all about the record. You put all your energy in that. And if you have a great record, then everything else follows. If you rush that and you and you're just thinking about other things like live shows and you're just slapping a record together and you're not thinking about the best people and the best team effort to get the best things done, then none of that's going to matter. You know, so I still carry on a lot of his business advice, you know, and um, just try to put it into practice. And that's kind of basically what we're doing. Right on. So we got Fallen coming out February 14th. Yes, that's right. right. It's on Valentine's Day, which is an interesting uh release date um but uh yeah and i think um it's going to be great we're going to be promoting that day um i'll probably do a facebook live with kate um you know just to have some fun and answer some questions and you know it should be a good day for a record to come out very cool now can we expect any more music videos now you, you've already got one out there in support of the album right now uh are we going to put in, be putting out any more we're talking about it. We have a tour coming up in Greece um, in April. Like the first half of April is like a mini tour. It'll take us to Cyprus and Turkey as well. So they're talking about shooting the second true video uh, during one of the days off on that tour. So that's what we have now. So, yeah, I don't know. It might be just something where they kind of just capture as much as they can and we go off and get shots, you know, separate band shots, shots of me performing a little bit apart from the band as well as with the band. I don't know. I'm just imagining the production on it. When you have a day, you can do a good bit of stuff, um, and it should be enough to capture it. So we're just going to decide on a song. So that'll be the time when we uh, shoot it. So maybe we're talking about early summer having that second video out. Oh, very cool. Very cool. All right, man. Well, again, everybody, we are here with one of the greatest voices in metal, Zach Stevens. And uh, make sure you go check out, you know, the brand new album coming out February 14th. And, uh, oh, man, very cool, man. Very cool. And uh, congratulations. Congratulations on all the success and everything like that. And I really appreciate your time, Zach. Thank you, too. I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. And, you know, appreciate the push. And I hope to talk to you soon. Oh, like you said. Absolutely. You absolutely. Get-
We get a little bit more time off this crazy schedule. We got to catch up in person, you know, got to catch up in That's person. Right. All right. Everybody, I'm Scotty yeah, J. Yeah, you are watching Rock Titan Live. Thank you for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe on our channels and all of our social media. We're out.